What's going on guys, Snake Eyes here playing some more Dark Souls 2 and in this video I'm going to show you the best place to farm for every upgrade material in the game. Um, the reason you would want to come here though is so that way you can pick up some Titanite slabs, Petrified Dragon Bones, and Twinkling Titanite. And if you don't know where I'm at, I am actually in Dragon Airy. Um, everybody calls this place Candyland and that is pretty much a nice name for it. Because uh, like I said, there's a whole bunch of crystal lizards in here and they all drop some really good stones. Um, a lot of them drop Twinkling Titanite and Petrified Dragon Bones, but you will find some that drop Infusion Stones and uh, Titanite Chunks, uh, large Titanite Shards, and just all around every single upgrade material that you can think of. Um, the one bad thing about this place, though, is they only have one respawn, so once you kill them, that's it. They're never going to respawn again unless you use a Bonfire Ascetic. And the other negative thing about that, though, is that when you, re uh, when you use a Bonfire Ascetic to respawn all the Crystal Lizards, you're going to respawn all the Dragons. Now, the dragons are actually pretty easy. They're really easy as soon as you're able to get in between their legs. Um, all you have to do is just attack the leg once or twice. Uh, get away because they might do the stomp and then just rinse and repeat. Keep doing that until they die. And then obviously in the higher the bonfire ascetic level that you're at, the more difficult they might be. But as long as you keep to that technique and uh, maybe if you have some magics and all that stuff, all the dragons will be pretty much easy and you can kind of take them out really fast. That's pretty much going to wrap up this video. It was a quick one, I know, but at the same time, there's really not much to it. Uh, kill the crystal lizards. Watch out for the dragons. Also, watch out for the undead prisoners because those guys actually, um, when they lay down and they do the little AoE attack, that's actually corrosive. It's not uh, petrification, so your items can be broken depending on which ones you're using. So you might want to watch out for that, but 9 times out of 10, you can one-shot them. I guess the technique you can use uh, for a good amount of the first couple of bonfire ascetics is you can use a great sword, and the two-handed R1 is actually a downward attack, and then when you press it again, it um, attacks right there. It attacks straight up. Uh, you can see me do it right now, and um, like I said, it's a pretty good one, but at the same time, you're going to need a stronger weapon as soon as you start getting up there in the bonfire ascetic levels. So, like I said, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, take care.